Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Shubham Ojha and today we are going to talk about predictive maintenance. Predictive maintenance is important for the future vehicle because we are going to involve a different kind of computers, different kind of sensors as well as different kind of components. So these components could be expensive, these sensors could be expensive. So we need to have a better predictive maintenance and we can basically predict about the life of the component as well as how it performing while driving that vehicle. So for that we have predictive maintenance. Other one is the scheduled maintenance which we have up on a proper interval of time. It basically depends upon different kind of OEMs as well as their what kind of vehicle they are using it so are different kind of components they are involving in their vehicle so it basically depends upon different kind of kilometers or different interval of time so predictive maintenance is important it basically helps in reducing the you can say uh, expenses of the components in the longer term and it basically saves the money for the longer term of the customers suppose that if your clutch plate is being wearing for the very long time there are several different kind of aspects that it will uh, also cover it with himself so if you're talking about clutches clutches get wear it will basically hamper your driving style it will hamper your fuel economy it will hamper your other components such as your drive shaft and transmission so different kind of components and different kind of things are basically leading to several problems so it's important to basically predict different kind of you can say about the maintenance and we can basically do it before time so that it does not hamper the customer's pocket so the future vehicle is going to have iot devices iot stands for internet of things and it's referred to as a billion of physical devices connected to an internet then why we are using an iot devices is one of the most important aspects so it basically can collect share and exchange data with the other connected device or the database wireless technology lies at the core of the iot based devices so if you're talking about iot iot could uh, iot could be any devices which is connected to an internet and it's ref it's written over here phys any physical object almost any physical object can be considered to be an iot device as soon as it gets connected to an internet so basically automotive industry are involving different kind of iot devices and you are using for better purpose of the uh, you can say of the vehicle and they are basically improving the customer satisfaction as well as improving the customer reliability for their companies if you're talking about the involvement of iot devices in your vehicle from 2020 to till 2030 there would be around expected to be a 70 67 percent of jump in the iot devices used in your automotive vehicle so it's important to know about the predictive maintenance first we will let to know about how basically it works so the working of an iot device is uh, very simple it basically collects all the data it basically connects all the data from your sensor and it transfer it to an ecu ecu then collects all the data and send it to the telematic control tcu and this basically telematic control unit has an inbuilt iot devices or it's an iot devices in itself so it basically helps in diagnosing different kind of vehicle as i told you about a tuc is tcu sorry tcu is one of the most important component of the future vehicle and it will be implementing in your vehicle at a very good pace and it will see an increase of the tuc components in your vehicle so what happened is basically these kind of sensors are connected to battery fuel pump and starter motor and they basically keep on monitoring different kind of component different kind of its working and how it's basically performing in the vehicle while it's driving and when it collect all the data it's sent to an ecu then ecu basically transfer it to tcu and tcu then transfer it to the vehicle data transmitting using the real time notification to in vehicle you will get the notification on the dashboard through email to you as well as the oem or the service advisor through text to you as well as the other companies or different kind of manufacturers or whatever your service advisor uh, names is and through a remote link so different kind of uh, areas or different kind of technologies are being in building as well to get the notification on time and it will basically help you getting to know about the problem in your vehicle as well as the service advisor or your uh, authorized service center so that they they can basically call you if somehow you are lacking or you are basically ignoring this kind of notification they will call you they will basically consult you about different kind of things that can happen if you not get your vehicle service on time and then they will basically ask you to come uh, come for an appointment and get your vehicle fixed so there are different kind of advantages so first we need to know about the advantages first one it's help in saving cost cost of the component as well as it will basically helps in uh, saving the money in a longer term if you are able to do one predictive maintenance it is schedule it is to be analyzed that you save about 50 percent of what your vehicle component would actually cost when you are purchasing it for the new 
Second one is it helps in OEMs to increase the reliability and customer confidence in their company. That's why they are using different kind of technologies to increase the customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction has been one of the most valuable part in the automotive industry because we have a lot of competition in automotive industry and to differ or to stand out, we need to have a proper service and proper uh, confidence winning from the customer side towards the company. That's why different kind of companies are using different kind of uh, sensors and different kind of things to basically enhance these kind of things. So basically most of the uh, majority of the automotive industry are using IoT based device to basically predict the maintenance. And if you want to have a proper example of these kind of things, let me just give you a proper example, taking in mind about the basic component, which is your battery. So what happened is basically the sensor is basically monitoring all different kind of battery condition and it basically predict that and it sends the data to the cloud and predicting it that the low battery predicted. So this kind of uh, alert would be uh, first sent to an, uh, you can say cloud. Then the, these cloud will send all the data to your, uh, to your phones, alerting you as well as your OEM service center. And then it's your duty or it's the OEM service center's duty to basically minimize the cause and see what is causing that problem. And if it's a recurring, a recurring problem again and again, then we need to look at the different components as well as the software, because sometimes different kinds of softwares keep running on the backhand and they basically consume different kind of percentage of batteries in your vehicle. So OEMs are basically using it to enhance the customer satisfaction, to predict the maintenance so that you don't have to spend a lot of money on your vehicle while maintaining your vehicle for a longer term. Because if you're talking about average driven vehicle in India, it's about 15 years. And after 2020, we are going to see, uh, you can see we have already seen that we have a different kind of scrappage policy in India. And these kind of things will basically help in maintaining your vehicle for longer run as well as saving the environment and because different kind of uh, service maintenance as well as emissions norms are going on so we need to predict the maintenance of the engine as well that's why different companies are using iot devices to predict the maintenance so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you love this video and if you have any kind of videos uh, suggestions for the further please feel free to comment down below and if you have any kind of suggestion for me how i can improve this video or what are your feedbacks feel free to comment down below or you can contact me on my whatsapp